Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on multinomial theorem in discrete mathematics course. The given problem is find the coefficient of x power 23 in the expansion of 1 plus x power 5 plus x power 9 whole power 10. This problem cannot be solved using binomial theorem because the given expression contains more than two terms. The given expression contains only two terms then it can be solved by using binomial theorem. But it contains three terms to solve that problem, we have to use multinomial theorem. Okay, so we know that multinomial theorem n factorial divided by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial into x1 power n1 into x2 power n2 into x3 power n3 where n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. So this is the multinomial theorem when the expression contains only three terms n factorial divided by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial into x1 power n1 into x2 power n2 into x3 power n3 where n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. Now, what is the n value in the given expansion? The n value is 10. So, in the above problem, n value is equal to 10. Now, what is n1 value? What is n2 value? What is n3 value? We have to find out. Once we are knowing the n1, n2, n3 values, then we have to substitute here n1 factorial, n2 factorial and n3 factorial. Okay. Now, what is x1 value? x1 value here is 1, x2 value is x power 5, x3 value is x power 9. Okay, now, so we can substitute n value in the given formula that is 10 factorial divided by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial into what is x1 value? x1 value is 1. So 1 power n1 into what is x2 value? That is x power 5 power n2 into what is n3 value? x3 value that is x9 x power 9 whole power n3. Okay. Now, 10 factorial divided by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial. Here, 1 can be written as x power 0. So, x power 0 value is 1. 
so power n1 into x power 5 whole power n2 into x power 9 whole power n3. Next, so 10 factorial divided by, so n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial here. Now, the sum of n1 plus n2 plus n3 that is equal to 10. That is n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. Okay. Now, what is the coefficient of x power 23 in the expansion of 1 plus x power 5 plus x power 9 whole power 10? We have to find out the coefficient of x power 23. Now, we have to get x power 23 by using these three terms. Okay. By using trial and error, we have to get x power 23 by using these three terms. Okay. So, here I am writing x power 9 whole power 2. So, x power 9 whole power 2. So, that means x power 18 we are getting. Next one, x power 5 whole power 1. So, x power 5 whole power 1 is nothing but x power 5. Here, x power 18 and here, x power 5 we are getting. Next one, here, x power 0 whole power 7. So, that means x power 0 whole power 7 means that is 1 power 7. x power 0 value is 1. So, that is 1 power 7 into x power 5 whole power 1 is that is x power 5. x power 9 whole power 2 is x power 18. So, this value becomes x power 18 and this value becomes x power 5 and this value becomes x power 0 whole power 7 into so that is 10 factorial divided by so this is n1 value this is n1 value is this one and n2 value is this one and n3 value is this one so n1 value is 7 so substitute 7 in the place of n1 factorial into n2 value is 1. So, substitute 1 in the place of n2 factorial that is 1 factorial into n3 value is 2. So, substitute 2 in the place of n3. So, then we are getting 2 factorial. So, so here 1 power 7 into so here n1 value is 7, n2 value is 1, n3 value is 2. 7 plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 10. 7 plus 1 plus 2 so that is equal to 10. So here where I am writing here n1 is equal to 7. This is n1 value. n2 is equal to 1. This is n2 value n3 is equal to 2. This is this one. So, n1 value is a 7. So, that's 7 factorial. n2 value is 1. That is 1 factorial. n3 value is equal to 2. That is 2 factorial. Therefore, n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. So, n1 value is a 7. n2 value is a 1. And n3 value is 2. So, 10 is equal to 10. This condition should be satisfied compulsory. Now, 1 power 7 into x power 5 into x power 18. So, then next we are getting 
So x power 5 into x power 18, that is x power 23. So 10 factorial divided by, so 7 factorial into 1 factorial into 2 factorial. So that is equal to x power 5 into x power 18. So that is x power 5 plus 18. So that is equal to, so 10 factorial can be written as 10 into 18 to 10 into 9, sorry. 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by, so 7 factorial into 1 factorial value is 1 and 2 factorial value is 2. Here into x power 23. So now we are getting x power 23. So what is the coefficient of x power 23? This one. So now the coefficient of x power 23 is now here 7 factorial and 7 factorial can be cancelled and 2 goes 4 times. So then what is the result? So 10 into 9 into 4 that is equal to 9 into 4 36, 36 into 10 that is 360. So answer is 360. Okay. So therefore the coefficient of x power 23 in 1 plus x power 5 plus x power 9 whole power 10 is 360. This is the answer. So in this way we have to solve the given problem. Here we have to use only trial and error method for getting x power 23. Okay. So x power 9 whole power n3. Okay. So we have to substitute n3 value is 2. Then x power 9 whole power 2. Then we are getting x power 18. So in the x power 23 we are already getting x power 18. What is the remaining we have to get x power 5. So x power 5 whole power n2 in the place of n2 we are substituting 1. So here x power 18, here x power 5 we are getting x power 23. Okay. Next one here x power 0 whole power 7. Okay. Why we are substituting n1 value is 7. Here n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. So total n1 plus n2 plus n3 is equal to 10 because n value is equal to 10. So see this one n1 value is 7, n2 value is 1, n3 value is 2. 7 plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 10. Once we are getting n1 plus n2 plus n3 value is equal to 10, then we have to substitute n1 value here, n2 value here, n3 value here. So then we are getting x power 5 into x power 18 that is x power 23. So then, so the coefficient of x power 23 is uh, this one. So this can be written in this way 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial by 7 factorial into 1 into 2. To cancel 7 factorial in the denominator, so we have to write it as 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial. So 2 goes to 4 times, then we are getting 360. So therefore, the coefficient of x power 23 in 1 plus x power 5 plus x power 9 whole power 10 is 360. In this way, we have to solve this type of problems. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and the classmates. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Devela Srinivas Rao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, 
click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of this video, go to the playlist called Discrete Mathematics in, the, in this YouTube channel. It contains approximately 430 videos. The entire playlist is available. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.